What's up everyone, Gus da Costa here and today I'm back making videos about cameras. So with me today specifically I have the Canon X-A60. This camera recently came out. It's basically a replacement for the X-A11. So if you had an X-A11 uh, and you're looking for the next step, uh, this is the prosumer camera that's replacing the X-A11. Uh, I sold the one that I had and I bought the XA60 for uh, pretty much the 4K and also the ability to stream with the camera. I could not do that with the XA11, so this one will be able to do that for me. So let's get in the box, see what comes with it. The very first thing you get at the top is a your standard manual and your warranty card couple screws to mount the top handle. So this camera does not come with a charger. I have purchased one already, the CG800. I'll put everything down in the description below uh, that I talk about in this video. This is the, the charger. So the power cord just plugs right in here. This is the battery that comes with it. It's the... Um, this is the BP820, I think. I have bought one extra battery. BP828. Further down here, we have, here we have the lens hood. This is the lens hood, and the way you open it is a little latch on the side here. I believe this is the top handle. So with this one, you have, it's the same thing as the XA11. You are able to mount two XLR cables here. You have your zoom rocker. Usually I set this one to very slow up here. Uh, when you're filming something and you just wanna push in slowly, that's what I use. And then over here you have a start stop and also a cold shoe for a microphone mount. There is a microphone mount right here. That's the microphone mount right here. On this side we have the camera you all have been waiting for. So here's the camera, X-A60. Very compact, feels great in the hand. Pretty much very similar to the X-A11. That screen, I can already tell you, it's a new screen. Much better screen, I believe. Like I said, I'm gonna make videos about everything. I gotta play with this camera. And uh, some things will be familiar to the X-A11. Um, other things will be completely new. So that's pretty much it. That's what comes in the box. 4K, still 20 times optical zoom. Still the same um, lens, the Digic uh, DV6 chip. So let's start assembling this camera and I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. First and foremost, put the uh, battery just like that. And to take it off, there's a latch here and you just pull it right out. So it's very, very easy to take it on and off. Um, let's put the lens hood. Also very easy to mount. Logo up, you turn it about 20 degrees and it goes right in. So this, this cold shoe here is, if you don't, if you're not gonna use the XLR uh, microphones, if you're not gonna, if you want a smaller footprint when you're out there filming, if you're just taking it to your kids' games and stuff like that, and you want a very small camera, you can just take it just like this. And if you need audio, you can mount a microphone right here in the cold shoe. Uh, but because I use it uh, mostly with the top handle, uh, with XLR mics, I use that cold shoe to uh, put it together. And you just uh, twist it down just to, you gotta make sure you're thorough and make sure everything's tight so that when you're filming, you don't get any weird clicking sounds. And now the last thing to put together is the microphone holder. But this is pretty much it, guys. This is put together. I'm gonna tighten the, these screws a little bit later. You have your port, you have your, your uh, headphone jack right there. You have a microphone jack, like a, a three and a half millimeter. If you wanna use a microphone, you have your HDMI out right here and also your USB that you can use uh, to live stream. You can plug it right in there and live stream your videos. And there's also a remote port right here. On these sides, you have your XLR mics. You have two inputs right there and you have a 
start stop record button right here at the top the zoom rocker like i said there's two in this camera and this is one of them on this side you have the controls for the xlr mics you can control each individually right there and also on this side you have in the back you have your start stop button you have your battery of course and also your menu settings right here uh, if you want to get in the menu from this side you can do that you can also this is a touch screen you can also do all that you have to do through the screen right here and over here you have if you want to shoot in the dark make some horror videos or whatever make some halloween videos you can record in the dark by using the infrared function and all you do is turn this on and you're able to film in the dark and then it's also a dual card just like the xa11 you have the ability to insert two sd cards right here and then here is to display the battery information on the camera and the next button is just to return to the previous um, menu at the end of the video i'm gonna have some footage of uh, this camera this is a sample footage of the xa60 and this is the picture i'm getting uh, this is indoor uh, as I can see on the screen, it's looking very nice on the screen, much better than the XA11. Not to make this video about a comparison between the two cameras, but it does seem like it's it's a little bit better of a picture. And um, I have good lighting right now. I have a light over here on this side and right up here hitting my face. And if you're curious about the sound, I am recording it with a Rode the Rode VideoMic Pro, and this is the sound quality. I have it recording in two channels. Uh, I can make more videos in the future that will talk about audio settings and how I set up this camera. So if you're interested, uh, please tune in and look for those videos coming up. Now, here is the sample footage of the XA60 Outdoors. Enjoy. Enjoy. 